Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and I have another uh, demonstration of the cool factor part of the Casio Privia PX350. And before I go on, no, I do not work for Casio. I don't know anybody or related to anybody that works there. I just think this is a super cool board and I'm very excited about it. And I want to share some of my findings about this board with you. The first cool factor that they don't tell you about and I mean, they'll give you a bunch of specs and all that kind of stuff, but they don't tell you about these cool factors. I've got four that I'd like to cover today. The very first one is the boot up time, seven seconds. Seven seconds from the time you turn that power switch on, you can be playing. It's that fast, very quick. Now, the second cool factor is this USB port. If you're a gigging musician and you're performing live, a lot of times it's dark and you can't see what you're doing. Now, thanks to that USB port and where it is, they sell these little USB LED lights and you just plug it in to the USB port like so. You can see the light right there. See that? You just aim that right where you need to aim it. <laughs> And you can actually see, so what you're pressing uh, is going to be relevant. Whatever you press, you can actually see the label now. Now, that's a big thing when you're on stage and it's dark. Now, the other thing when you're on stage, or even when you're at home, is a lot of times it gets hot and you really need to cool off. And there's no other power supply for you to plug into because power supplies and plugs and wall outlets are at a premium at a gig so this is a usb fan you plug this in to the usb port and you, you see the fan right here it's got a power switch I turn it on and voila i aim it right at my face and i can stay cool while i play very big plus when you got stage lights on you and all that stuff now, the only problem is there's only one USB port here, so you would probably have to get yourself one of those four port adapters because you want more than just the light and the fan. You probably want to plug in one of those USB thumb drives or flash drives or whatever because you can record your live performance right onto the USB drive. So that's three things you got going on a USB port where you need a port, uh, four port adapter to. And that is just so cool. These things didn't exist a few years ago. Now, the third thing that I wanted to talk about is the line level inputs, and they're quarter inch. So unlike other manufacturers that give you these little eighth inch mini inputs where you can plug your iPod into, this is professional. It's quarter inch line level inputs. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is a voice effects processor. It's a TC Helicon voice live touch. So basically what I can do with it, besides talk to you, I can throw in some reverb, and throw in a delay, make my voice sound double, or any combination of these effects. And basically the thing is because the Privia accepts a line level input, well, this takes your microphone and processes it makes all the effects that you want to make and gives you a line level out which then plugs into the line level in now the cool thing about that is all you need to bring to a gig is you've got your privia px350 you've got your voice processor you've got a microphone stand and a microphone you do not have to bring speakers amplifiers or anything like that unless you're at a huge outside gig or whatever. But small house gig or whatever, 30 people, maybe 40, the amplification on the Privia is enough to handle everything. So basically, you can play the piano, you can sing, go through an effects processor, which brings the mic level to line level, go through this, have all the effects you need, and voila, now you're a one-man band. Now, because it's line level and because there's a left and a right, and there's only one mic, what you could do 
is have the mic with a DI box, if you don't have one of these, to bring it up to line level. Go into, say, the left line input. Have a guitar with a line level DI box to bring that up to line level. Go to the right input. Now you've got singing or microphone and a guitar and piano, all without bringing external amplifiers. That is just so cool. The last thing about the cool factor on this PX350 is the fact that, and I don't understand why they don't push this, they don't tell anybody, it's seamless uh, changing of sounds from one sound to another. So if I'm playing piano and I hold it, now I go to organ, you hear the piano, and you also hear the organ. Now, while I'm holding the organ and I want to go to strings, and I want to go to piano, you can hear all three. I don't think some of the big boys even do that with their uh, boards. And it even works for layers. So if you've layered your board so that you have two patches playing for every key that you play, you can hold that, go to another patch, and play that as well. Anyway, this is Piano Man Chuck. Hope this has been enjoyable to you. Thanks for watching.